Good morning, students of JBM Global School, Noida. I'm your snooker and chess instructor, Manoj Tiagi. So, in my lesson number 10 today, I'll be showing you another professional beginning with the Queen's Gambit accepted. As you can see over here, written over here, Queen's Gambit accepted. So I'm starting it from the white side. This is how the game will take place in the fast forward motion motion. And then I'll be explaining you each of these moves step by step why they have been made. And uh, the best possible moves by the white and the black in the Queen's Gambit. I'll explain you what is the Queen's Gambit. Accept it. What does it mean? Let the moves take place. Okay. So let me reproduce all the all the pieces set back and the very first move will be made by this white pawn on this square and this black will move on this square so as you can see from the highlighted squares white to move the white will move on this square the white has moved on this square and the black has moved its pawn black pawn on this square so that both of them do not advance and they have some supremacy over these four squares so in the queen's gambit the pawn in front of the queen is moved in the king's gambit this pawn in front of the king is moved so but since this is the queen's gambit so this is how it takes place this is the formation and uh, in the next move this as you can see from the highlighted square this white pawn will come over here for either this black pawn to capture the white pawn that will be the queen's gambit accepted or if it does not capture then it means a queen's gambit declined so since it's a queen's gambit accepted, it will definitely, this black pawn will definitely overtake and uh, capture this white pawn. I'll just show you. So white pawn has been kept over here. See, immediately the black pawn has captured this white pawn. Let's see the next move. The queen would like to move over here and see a check. To this black king and this queen will be getting a chance because the king side black king side would try to save this check and in the process this queen can overtake this or capture this black pawn because the queen will be having the eyes on this black pawn so let me keep this white queen on over here as soon as I have done it the black has kept its black bishop in between to block the check from this white queen and now the white queen since it already had its eyes on this black pawn so obviously as you can see from the highlighted square this queen will capture the we white queen has captured this pawn and now in response the black knight has been moved over here so that this white pawn can be attacked so the white knight would also like to develop over here so that it can protect this white pawn if this black knight oh sorry if this uh, black knight uh, captures this white pawn then 
the white knight over here will capture the black knight so first let me keep this white knight over here I've kept the white knight over here and in response the black knight has been kept over here so that this black knight can move somewhere either on this square or this square and move to the real front line but let's see what the next move is okay it, the white would like to develop white knight would like to develop over here come in the front line without any harm so the white knight has come over here and in response this pawn has been moved forward so that a way is cleared for this black knight to move diagonally maybe over here so that if this white knight moves out of position out of this particular square then this black bishop will have an automatic check on the white king let's see let's see what's the next move by white okay see it has already made way because this white pawn will come over here so that this black bishop cannot come over here so this white pawn has been moved forward and this black bishop has just moved one step and developed in the front row the next move by the white is it would like to keep its white bishop over here because still it's a safe square for this white bishop so the white bishop has come over here and it has the black has moved its pawn one step forward why because it does not want this white knight to come over here as uh, the white knight cannot come over here because there is a pawn guarding away on this square and that is why the black has moved this black pawn so that it can guard this square so that the white knight does not come on this square so this is the move by black this white pawn would like to move one step forward two steps forward so I'm moving it two steps forward no this is the wrong move this will be a wrong move okay now that that was, that was the right move so white pawn moved uh, two steps forward and in response the black pawn has also moved so to that and it's sort of a threat to the queen white queen the black pawn wants the white queen to go to some other square and wrong move means if i touch any other piece it will say a wrong move see if i touch this white knight it will say a wrong move if i touch this white bishop it will say a wrong move because all these moves are calculated as per the computer engine okay now let me see okay the queen will now try to save itself and come on this square So the queen has come over here and in response a black pawn has been moved forward. Why? Because it does not want this white knight to come on this square and try to come very much in the front line. So this black pawn has been moved because this square was unguarded. 
and if the white knight had moved over here obviously there were two attacking pieces already one on this pawn is there the white bishop is there but only this portion was unguarded that is why it has moved its black pawn forward so since uh, so uh, this pawn since this portion is it can be developed to make way for this uh, white bishop so this uh, white pawn would like to move here and it is solved solved means a professional beginning has been made as per the computer engine and you can as you can see a plus is equal to written that means it has the white has a slight advantage in the middle game middle game where most of these capturing will take place as you can see in the beginning not many captures have been made only very specific captures have been done so this is how a queen's gambit accepted is played professionally each and every move is calculated as per the computer engine so in my next lesson next week i'll be showing you a king's gambit declined so because you must know all these uh, the basic uh, strategies involved in developing in the beginning stage or in the debut so see you until next time next week take care and bye bye